Hey, welcome back to another video. So you may be wondering what is on my table. So I've been meaning to do a hot plate. So because you saw in the last video, I did solder these guys, and uh, now you can really see how small they are. So, but if I'm going to do SMD stuff, now this uh, project here is more like having a hot plate like this. So just an old iron can see 1300 watts and, uh, yeah so I'm going to convert that so I have built my own SCR and with a power supply and I put it on one of these uh, boards I had from before just to have something to mount it to Skullcom Hobby Electronics anyway just to get those um, uh, 220 volts 240 volts off the board and if you see under there, you can see a uh, optocoupler. The way this board works is that it uh, has an SCR. You put mains voltage in here, 240 volts. And then you connect the iron here. And then this triac will cut the power depending on what you put in here from the microcontroller. It is basically a solid state relay. I was thinking making these videos a bit shorter and then more videos. I hope you don't mind. I'll just put them in a playlist and also maybe more people can chime in like on the pro progress. So, so yeah so, so that's how it works and this is a 240 volt to 5 volt power supply. Look how small it is. It's like my thumb. <laughs> So it's only 600 milliamps and uh, it drives that red LED when the power is on here. Um, 240 volts is here and the yellow one is indicating that the trigger input is high from the microcontroller. You can put a switch here also. So why do I have so small heatsink when I'm driving this huge load? Well, the thing with this is that it only turns on and off when there's a zero crossing that means there's no voltage therefore there's no current when it's switching and this is the snubber network this is a x2 rated capacitors and um, sorry together with that resistor and capacitor in case you have an inductive load but i think this is mostly a resistive load so i don't really need it this is a 6.3 amp fuse i hope that will be sufficient so maybe you can see it yeah so speaking of microcontrollers I have played a little bit with this one so let me explain what this is this is just a coupling board just use it to like for example this uh, microcontroller only has one ground pin and one so this is a VMOS D1 mini it has an ESP12S and I use Arduino so you can just read out serial data here for debugging and what I've done is that I've hooked up a uh, 7 seg display and um, it has a uh, max let's see max 7219 with a spy bus and then you have a max 6675 and you see there's nothing else on this board, it's just a breakout board. So, And then I have a thermocouple and it's really fast. This one is from uh, Adafruit actually. So once I plug it, it's on. There you go. So never mind that uh, punctuation there. So it's not correct. Anyway, I'm just printing out some numbers there. So. Look how fast it is when I pinch this together now. There. Well, now my fingers are cold. <laughs> Hold on, if I put it in my ear. Look. It goes up pretty fast. And then out again. It goes pretty fast down again. So this is a K-type uh, thermocouple. So what I'm thinking of doing is uh, to take the iron and then uh, 
basically just mounting like this so I've kept the um, connections here so much easier and you have the thermostat variables thermostat but I'm not using it and these are just you can see what it is it's like uh, ATX case for PCI slots mounts or brackets what it is called and just bent them to shape just to have it uh, able to stand like this basically if you have any suggestions let me know that's the beauty of having short videos because then you can chime in and maybe influence what I'm going to do next so yeah I have a little update so I was contacted on Facebook by a guy who saw that I um, had a post on Facebook regarding the Thunberg radio or the Thunberg reel-to-reel -reel recorder which I sent a chip to a guy who repaired it and he was really happy and now my dad has gotten that reel-to-reel uh, -reel recorder back uh, there was a guy wanting to do this himself so I bought another 15 of these now I sent five to him and just programmed it into I just programmed it using my uh, TL866 programmer uh, so I made this layout and uh, this is uh, resembling the print board so I've just set the grid to yeah two and a half so the plan was making like a PCB but uh, if you're going to make this I would recommend uh, you buy the solid state relay they are very cheap the max 6675 it has a spy bus and it takes the thermocouple in on a VMOS but you, you can use any microcontroller you want here's the uh, triac uh, opto isolator and this is the triac circuit or the SCR if you like it's the solid state relay so it has a fuse it has the triac it has the zero crossing triac so which uh, triggers this one which, yeah and so on so Put the mains on the this side and then the heater and off you go <laughs> that's it so that's it for this video so let's see you in the next one when we have some software so please leave some comments and let me know uh, what i should do and like for example software stuff like pin stuff and stuff like that <laughs> bye bye